stop. Keep on when I said it ain't gon' stop. It ain't gon' stop. It ain't gon' flop. Flop. Stop acting like we ain't so hot. What's going on, people? This is Influence. Back again. Not gonna say it. Uh what the hell? With another video. Um still under the weather, so I gotta apologize again. Um I will try to keep the sniffing to a minimum and I will also try to cut out a lot of the sniffing. So but my voice I can't do anything about. So I apologize for that. I have a lot of I got a lot of new stuff that's not new, but new to me. So I wanted to do reviews on them. Uh, this is Clat 2, which is X Transbot's masterpiece take on uh, Cosmos. Which Cosmos was a character I always enjoyed when I was younger. And I even liked the Hasbro's uh, version. They made a good version just not too long ago. Well, actually, it came out a while ago, and then they reissued it, uh, sort of. It just came out again. I think it was with the package deal with uh, Computron. I don't know. I just know they they did a pretty good job on it, and I have that one also. Uh, but, yeah, I like this guy. He's great. He's starting off in robot mode, of course, because he comes in spaceship mode. So I'm going to do his articulation and everything in comparisons, do some comparisons and first, and then I'll get into transformation. So first accessory is this thing right here, which if you remember in that one episode, you know, they always like to include something from like one obscure episode, I guess. But when he, it plugs in on spaceship mode, but it's when he, he was coming from, he was coming back to Earth or something, and these things start growing on him. And I think you, you just put it on this thing back here. Like when he's in spaceship mode, it looks better. But yeah, it, it's it's weird because it's greasy. Like it feels like it's residue, which it probably is. So I don't know. It's like a rubbery uh, thing. You get a screwdriver. I'm assuming the screwdriver is to replace the eyes because you get new eyes. Um, I think they're light piping. I'm not sure. Uh, let me see. Yeah, the eyes he has in now are painted. Metallic, which I like better than light piping. But then you have these that you can put in. And I'm assuming the screw, yeah, screwdriver is for the back of the head so you can take the head off and put the new eyes in so i'm not i'm not going to do that but i don't some light pipe eyes i'm okay with but sometimes without the light they look crazy you no know, the metallic blue even though i've seen it done better it's it looks better on this finger so that's that you also get a stand you get a lot of stuff with this guy and this guy wasn't too expensive either um i don't believe i mean this was a gift another gift from a lady so she hooked me up but uh but yeah i know the prices on a lot of these things so i know for what you get he's he's not super expensive you get the card and you get the booklet i don't know if i even looked in the booklet uh i watch so many reviews on these figures sometimes that i just knew how to transform him you get this stand which is like the ufo stand i'll show that off later it's kind of hard it has a little peg that peg oh you can't see that here this peg it's clear so it's hard to see um but you also get this stand this stand pegs in well i think the peg is i don't think it is it's bigger it's longer um so it goes into that hole a little uh more secure but then you got the the stand has a secure place for that if you just want to use this and this is cool because it's clear and you can place things in here that looking like he's uh taking it up um 
so you can place like something on this level because it's in two pieces so you can put something down here if you want or you can put something up here which there's like a little shelf so it's supposed to look like it's rising up which is kind of cool and you get this spray can which i think is what they use to get those uh things off in that one episode which <clears throat> spray can is cool it's all right he holds it uh it's got triple x on it oh comparisons first uh let me lower the camera a little bit just so you can get him all into the picture so we got power glide and bumblebee well it's not really bumblebee it's gold bug but it's the masterpiece uh it's basically the same mold so you can see how he scales with those guys um which is pretty good i think it's great this is a figure that I love. Uh, that Power Glide. It's pretty dope. Yeah, it's pretty good articulation. Some of this stuff, he has some kibble in the back. And I broke this off, so if you do get this guy, be careful. Uh, it's right here. I don't know what I was doing, but I just snapped it off. Like, I was trying to pull this up, and I slipped, and I hit it. I didn't even hit it that hard. So it's super glued right now. This one didn't come off, but... It's very easy. Like, I snapped that off with no force at all. So, just be mindful of that. Uh, he has an elbow. It's not double joint. Oh, wait. This is double joint. Hmm. So, his elbow's double jointed. He can spin all the way around. But, like I said, you got to get his arm out the way of that backpack. So, I didn't realize his arm is double jointed until just now. Uh... His fingers are all together. They're not a uh, separate articulation. And he has a fixed, you know, fixed hand. It's just all one pin joint. And the thumb doesn't move, so. But it's cool. I, I'm all right with that. He has these guns right here. These are the only, he doesn't come with any guns. I don't think he had any guns in the in the series. What, what little bit he was in the series. Uh. So he has some ratchet joints. He has these skirts. Get out the way. You can get back that far, but like I said, this backpack is kind of hindering. But you can get forward that that much. He's kind of uh, stable. I was trying to get him to to chill out. Uh, but you can on one foot. You can get the splits. And he has knees. Actually, they're kind of like double jointed. So if you don't tilt the feet up, you can get everything up. Like I said, this backpack is what it is. Uh, there's paint. That's one gripe, I guess. The yellows are different because this is just yellow plastic, I believe. And this is painted yellow, which the paint doesn't look bad. It's just a different color. But it does add contrast. It doesn't hurt the figure to me anyway, in my opinion. Uh... He has an ankle rocker a little bit. Um, he already showed that he can't get toe forward. He just has a big foot. He can get toe that way. Um, so, yeah, he has a big foot and they're ratcheted. So, that's that's a good thing. Um, sometimes he tends to fall back a little. And I think that's because his he has a soft ratchet right here. So sometimes it's not enough. So, but it's fine. He's not super heavy, but he's definitely has. I think that his body is die cast or inside, but it's definitely half half. And his center of gravity is is good. Uh, his head spins all the way around, and he goes up. You know, moves like this. It's not a great range of motion, but I don't think for this guy you need a great range of motion, even if you're posing. These things come out. I believe it's more for transformation. There's a little gimmick. Not really gimmick, but it's kind of cool how you get his head out. His head's pushed in. It'll be pushed in when I transform it, but I just wanted to show you since I'm going the other way. There's a button there. You pull these things out. I don't know why it says to pull them all out. Uh, Maybe it moves. It kind of looks like it moves. I don't know. But you got to push this button in there. If you, I mean, it's kind of hard, 
You can use a tool. I got it with my finger before, not my thumb, my finger. Yeah. Use the tool if you can't get it because it's super hard and you'll see in a minute. Okay. <laughs> that was the first time that's ever done that. That's how hard it is. It shot the head off of the ball joint. I didn't think you could take this head off of the ball joint without unscrewing it, but... Oh, that's crazy. And then his head pops up. It's not loose by any means on that ball joint, so you just know how hard it is. But I thought that was a cool feature uh, for him. He can close all this up. But uh, let's get into transformation. Let's up, bring that down. This around. I like how it, it's the illusion that these guns that he has when he's transformed are transformed into small guns on his arm. So I think that's cool. I'll just do his arms because it's quick and easy. Let's unfold that panel. You got an arm pretty much done, ready to do whatever with. Fold this panel. Right. I just pull this out to get it out the way. Let's get the arms up like this so. Then you can work on this body right here, which pull it out, flip that up. Pull this out, flip it up. And I just leave it like that. And then I work on these legs. Uh, Kind of just panelly, so pull this out, flip these up, put this down like this. I just leave it like that for now because you're gonna have to flip this around because it's like fills in the bottom. Same thing on the side. After you get all this stuff out, then you, uh, these joints right here, these things, not really joints, but you open them up. Because then you can collapse the feet like this. Which is pretty cool. Actually, you can peg these together too, uh, so it's not such a mess. They're gonna have to be pegged together anyhow, but I do it when it, oh no, you know what? I forgot a uh, forgot a step right here. This panel, which is kind of hard, it's like on a double joint. You just want to like kind of push it out and pull it up at the same time, which is it, it's kind of scary the first time you do it. Then you can pull it out like that and flip it around because it's supposed to be white in the spaceship mode. Which is kind of cool that it does that. It's just a little detail. So his feet ain't got that white. doesn't have that white stripe on it. So really you can pull it out. Flip it around. Then flip it back. Um, then you can put this together. There's a peg in the, in the slot, of course. <clears throat> Make sure all this stuff is out the way. 
bend it up like this. Yeah, so once it's bent up like this, you have this that goes into up here. And you can actually do that before you pull it all the way up, but I just like to put it all the way up first. Make sure it's uh, centered. Then it, it, it should just fall in place. Then you can fold these arms. They're on a sliding rail, so you got to slide them down. Uh, this right here slides is on a slider so you can slide it all the way back and then it'll fill in this gap back here uh, which the backpack is on a slider as well so you can just slide that forward and uh everything everything should fill in where it should So then usually the arms I do last because you have to slide slide this down. It's this rail right here. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, there it go. It's on it's this rail slides all the way down. And you can of course see where the arms go. But I like that too, that's kind of cool. It was tight the first time I, I did it, but it's no longer tight. Once you get it slot, slid down, you can like kind of. And these arms have a armature, which uh, I almost forgot, and they go that way. Uh, you can slide it. It's like a double joint, which is kind of intuitive in order to put it where it should be at. And then this panel closes around here, and you're just about finish let me get the other arm done so i can show that you slide this down then this arm right here it like i said it's intuitive because in order to get to that spot where it needs to be you hear it click too then you you have to move the arm to that spot so then you can close this up And just uh, get everything situated, get it all together, make sure it's tight. And you push the head in. And there you have it. It's a it's a good chunk of ufo oh sorry about that yeah it's a good chunk of ufo has some details of course this detail that was on the chest you got this yellow now you have these white stripes that weren't on the feet before because you flipped them over uh you got these thrusters i believe and these thrusters i think they're thrusters these little things stick out uh, they look like guns i believe they are guns and yeah, he's uh, it's Cosmos. So, Masterpiece Cosmos. There's a hole right here. My camera focus. That this goes into. And like I said, it doesn't go in well. Let me try to put it in. It, it's not in there well. But it's in there enough to where you can use it. So, my camera cut off. But as I was saying... Then you have this that you can use and this is very well on there uh it's heavy and he wobbles a little bit because he is a heavy he's a heavy piece so but as you can see he fits just well and and you can move it so the stand the stand's pretty cool i'm glad they include it X Trans Boss has been killing it as of late with their newer figures. I know this is not a newer figure, but they still, I, I, I like them as a company.
They sometimes put out a uh, iffy product at times, but I think they're coming up and I think they're getting better, a lot better with their products. I think this is one of the best offerings of, um, just from what I've seen, I haven't handled any of the other ones, but just from what I've seen and handling this, um, I'm glad I got this figure. So if you like this video, please like, share, subscribe with me, all that good stuff. Um, I feel like a beggar when I say that, but just, uh, I mean, share my videos, even if you don't want to subscribe, I've been trying to release content on a regular i try to release stuff every tuesday and thursday at least but it doesn't always happen but i'm i'm committing to two times a week at least uh releasing content not just transformers content but whatever content sometimes it's a uh, tech content video games or vlogs i don't do a lot of vlogs but i do do some so i appreciate y'all watching and I'll get up with you on the next one. In pop, I feel I gotta save. Who am I? You might say influence, and I spit better than most in this game.